everyone. Let's see, we'll just continue. Hello. All right. So today what we're going to talk about is our monthly layout. And if you're like me, you might have more than one planner. So sometimes, you know, we use our monthlies to kind of keep track of everything that's going on in the month. But we kind of might have a couple extra monthlies that you might have blank, you might be looking for ideas. So what I wanted to do today was kind of go through just a classic monthly setup and decorating it and making that fun, as well as some other options that we can do with our monthlies. So if you've got any questions, be sure to put those in the chat. And that way, um, if, you know, if you guys are all asking the same question, <laughs> they'll stop me and give me a heads up so that we can get that answered for you. And then um, if you've also got some questions um, for the end, if you want to know, uh, more information, just let me know and we can compile those and answer them when we're done. And also, I'm sure you guys know, there's another class at three o'clock today. And that one is with Heather. And so you probably want to check that one out too. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and flip this because you're ready to see what we're doing. Let me go ahead and turn this on. And we'll switch, whoa, the camera to overhead. Perfect. All righty, guys. So again, like I said, if you're like me, you've got more than one of these lying around in your planners. What I typically do is I've got one. This is my on the go planner, the one that I use all the time. And this one is my messy, get it done, write all the things down pl uh, planner. So this is my monthly that I use just to make appointments, do all of that. And this is great. And if you do this like me, that's awesome. But sometimes we want to do something a little fun and exciting in our planners. And so we want to decorate, use those stickers and kind of have something that's functional and pretty to look at. Another thing that people do when they're keeping track is they use these pages at the beginning of their planner and they might have all of the different appointments and things that they've got going on. And you can use this as well to fill out your monthly planner. Some people also use sticky notes. Like if you, if this is your main planner and you want to write your appointments down, some people use notes and just kind of put the different important dates down. And then when they're ready to decorate, they pop off the notes and they get started. So no matter which, you know, method you use to plan your monthly, just it's whatever works best for you. So I'm going to go ahead and take those off and let's see, let's, let's first talk the first thing that I do when I'm planning is look at my stickers, right? We're all sticker lovers. So I look at my stickers and we've got all kinds of stickers that we can use to decorate. We've got our pretty, you know, just pretty decorate, good decorative ones. That match the theme but there's also a lot of stuff in these this is a newer friendship book that are specifically for monthly so if you're flipping through and you see let me find one really quick aha wait i just passed some if you see some like this that have this little notch cut out when you go to put these in your layout so i'm just gonna grab one it will leave that date open so that you can see the date and write. So these are specifically de designed to go on your monthly layout. And there's decorative ones, functional ones, boxes. Let me find one really quick. That's a, a pretty one. Where am I going? Oh, well, I'll find one in a minute for you. But so they've got those as an option. And you've also got these as well. These are also designed so that if you take them out, you don't cover up that date. Now, when you're decorating and doing things, you can cover up the date if you want. I mean, you've got the dates right around it. It's totally up to you. But these, just so you know, are designed to go on the monthly layout and keep those dates open for you. You can also use all of these boxes, however you want, whatever you want to do to highlight your important events. So that's what that's actually where I start. So what I do is I use these boxes. I pulled some out of this spring. And I just put this on a piece of sticker paper um, just so that I can have them handy and not flip through books for you. So the first thing I do is put down my important information. 
There are a ton of stickers. I think I got these out of the All the Plans sticker book. These, these have like day off. So let's see, I've got a day off here that I'm gonna put down in here on this Monday after Easter. And so again, I always like to put the boxes down so that I know where the important things are. So let's see, I think I'm teaching another fun Michaels class here. And you can also use these decorative, let me grab them from the spring book, boxes. Like I said, they don't have to be, you know, the ones specifically designed. All of these boxes are made so that you can put, put them right in here. So let's see, I'll use that one for birthday for my grandmother. And we've got events. So I always, the first thing I do is go in and put down all of the important events that I need to remember for the month. So we're gonna go ahead and put that. Let's see. We've also got, what else? Oh, I've got an important appointment. Let's see, I'll put this one here. And again, see like, for example, on this one, I'm actually covering up the date, but I mean, 18th, we know that's the 19th. You could even use a sticker and put that on. Another fun tool to use when you are using your monthly is washi. You can use it to just accent and decorate the actual lines of the planner. But if you've got something that spans multiple days, that's how I love to use it the most. Of course, look, now I can't find the end. Here we go. Okay. I like to do like, let's say you've got something these three days, you could just put your washi down and have it go across multiple days and just tear that off. And then you can like write on it what it is and that sort of thing. So that, and there's just tons of ways to use, to use washi as a decorative accent, but also as a functional accent. So we can also put in, I'm putting in all the important days before I get into decorating. And there's so many different things you can track in your monthly planner. Like, let's see, we've got paydays. I'll put those on here. So we've got that covered. And the last Thursday of the month. Well, have a little Zoom thing with my friends. So I'm gonna put that there. Okay, and here's a decorative one that's got that little notch out. So and these type of decorative ones I would use on a day that is, I don't have very you know specific appointments. So I'm gonna put this decorative one right there. Okay, and then as you, as you are, you know, planning your monthly, I always leave some white space. If, for example, you put something, let's see, I might do, we're going to dye Easter eggs. Well, let's say you've got a decoration somewhere, let's say like right here, and then later I've got an appointment or something, you can always add a little box to it as well that can, you can write or just write on, on there. Again, this is your planner and it's, it's what works best for you. Do some holding. Okay. And then one last thing over here that I've got planned. Okay. So now I've got all of the functional and important things down. And I, that now it's time to decorate and you can add some fun things. I always look for these empty spaces. You usually have, sometimes you might have a big long line of them at the end of the month. This time I've got it beginning a month and that's where I tend to focus a lot of the decorations that I'm doing. So let's see, I might want to put, I'm actually going to put a cute quote right here in the sidebar, right there. And then I've got all of these really pretty springy 
stickers and I'm gonna just decorate here. I just try to look at the extra white space as opportunities to add and have fun. You can also use, you know, like I've got, let's see, a decorative trowel here. And we're planting some seeds. So you can even decorate some of those as well. You can add a little flower. So this is really just, again, it's still functional and still we're able to, you know, see what we have going on for the month, but it's also just fun and pretty. And we can, you know, don't we love stickers? I mean, come on, we're all, we're all about that. So you can just add a little extra wherever you want. And again, as things come up, as you need to add things, you can either use boxes or just write on and continue to go from there. So I'm gonna put, let's see, this one down here kind of overlapping there. And then we can also use this side column to add additional information and notes. I like to add boxes. You could add anything you like. Okay, so that's just an example of getting your appointments down, getting those special dates, memories, you know, anything that you've got planned for your month, having it be functional, but still having decoration and keeping it fun and exciting. So this is our monthly. Now let's say, you know, you've got your monthly down. You still got more layouts and other things you can do. So let's take a look at another option that we can do. So let me grab another monthly here. There's so many different things and ways that you can use the monthly. So I'm going to grab this one out. Just grab an extra month here for March. Okay. We can also use this monthly layout as a health tracker. You can track things like, you know, exercise, water, steps, sleep, or even your mood, your mental health, anything that you want you can use this as a tracker. So I used this All the Feels book, which I, I love this one. And again, all the sticker books that I'm showing are available at Michael's right now, so you don't have to worry. I'm not showing you stuff that you can't, can't get. So these are the All the Feels, this is the All the Feels book, and it has so many options as well. So let's take a look. And I also used All the Plans. And this one, like, let's say, you could easily track things like your steps. You can track exercise, like you can alternate different things. Let's say like you do, you do, a, you know, like a cardio, a stretch, a weights, you know, whatever it may be. You can also track things like your water intake. You could track your heart rate any of those things, anything that's important to you that you need to keep track of, this would be a good place to just very easily, like let's say you're counting your steps, you could write your steps every day in here and have one place to go where you'll have all of that. So you could do like, again, this one is in, I believe this might be in, is it all the feels? Let me just make sure. Yes, this is in all the feels. Like you've got walking, you could track your, health and vitamins, so many different ways that you can track on here for your, you know, again, fitness, you can track sleep. You can also do more of a, so like a, a ways to keep you take care of your self-care and that sort of thing. You could track and make sure, am I doing self-care at least once or twice a week? It could be things like, you know, your me time, making sure you're spending time doing that, making sure that you're being creative. 
and just, I think anytime that you focus on these sort of things, go to bed at a certain time, make sure we're unplugging. Whenever you're conscious of these things and actually tracking them and you've got one place to go to find all of these things, it, it definitely helps you focus more on them and make sure that you are taking care of yourself. So reading, you might meditate. And again, it's just something very simple that you can go back and whether it's just with a check mark, a highlighter, any of those sort of things, just making sure that you're tracking all of this. Journaling, you might wanna make sure you're exercising twice a week. And just go in and you can, this can be something that's done every week. You can do it um, as you're doing it or every day as you're doing it, or it could be something that you do at the end of the week or again, pre-planned for that week. So tons of options there. It doesn't have to be your appointments. This can also be just tracking those important things. You can also track, like, let's say how you're feeling, your moods. You could put one of these and just say, okay, I'm feeling, I'm feeling content, you know, today or however it is. There's also these great, these are also in all the fields. Today was, you know, sometimes when journaling, we think, oh, I have to write, you know, a bunch. You don't have to write a bunch. It can simply be one word. Today was, you know, exhausting. Today was so much fun. Today was, you know, whatever it is. You can just write one word and have that so that you can look back at them. You can also use, like, let's say if we were, were doing mood tracker, I've got these highlighters. These are mild liners, the zebra mild liners, and these are available at Michael's in so many amazing colors. You can, let's say, let's say I'm tracking my, you could track headaches, you could track anything, symptoms. Let's say I'm tracking my anxiety. You could even color code this. I mean, I could put, you know, this is purple or you can even have your, you know, this, I'm in a good mood, I'm in a, you know, whatever it may be, you can color code these. And that way it's very easy to go in at a glance and just, I'm gonna pick yellow, and just look at what's going on that day. I can just be very easy, you could draw a line, you could highlight the number with how you were feeling that day. And it's just a simple way to keep track of what's going on, you know, for you that month. And it's also great when you need to look back and make sure, am I doing the things that I need to do? Am I doing the things that are going to keep me healthy, happy, whatever the case may be. But color coding really does help out a lot when you're trying to do something like that. And it's also a lot easier than, you know, writing out your, you know, if you don't want to journal in here, it's just very simple to pick up a color and mark it off for the day. So again, these are all things that you can do in that tracker that can just keep, keep up with what's going on and what, what's happening in your life. So again, doesn't have to be appointments, doesn't have to be that sort of, you know, monthly. I think we always see that monthly and we think of the traditional way to do it. So this is, again, another option that we can do for our monthly. So I'm going to move that one over. I'm going to use this book a lot. <laughs> so, all righty, here's another one that I think is super fun that I've been doing this month. And this is, I just used, again, this was from all the feels. I just used this, what are you grateful for today? As my prompt for, you know, the month. And all I'm doing is just writing one sentence, like, or even a word, like I was grateful for coffee because I'm so tired or I got to talk to my mom. My husband made me laugh. Just one little thing um, that you can look back to and have a whole month of gratitude. Um, and then I just add a little cute sticker that day for whatever it is, or I mean, and sometimes you don't have to. I've already got this one ready because I am grateful for um, all of you guys at the Michaels class. Okay, on Michaels. 
not spelling it right, Zoom. Okay, I'm also grateful for my alarm because hello, daylight savings time. Did that get anybody today? Okay, so again, if you've got multiple planners, if you, you know, need different ways to utilize these, you know, it's a lot of fun. Don't leave them blank. Let's, let's get some stuff on there. I know a lot of times I have left stuff, you know, because again, I use three planners and I don't necessarily want to have those same appointments. Now, granted, I need them on some, but for the most part, like on my memory planner, this would be a great thing to do on your memory planner because those monthlies in the memory planner typically for me stay, you know, blank because I'm planning every week with photos. So this is another option that you can do that you, you know, that would kind of just, it's fun to look back at just the one little thing that brightened your day. And it also can keep you positive throughout your, you know, throughout your day, you're ending your day with a little bit of, Hey, what, what's something I can look to today. That was great. And yes, I see some other people saying things. There's so many other things you could do, like weather trackers, um, you could do meal planning. You could very easily add meal stickers on. You could do um, even wins or just pause something positive or a positive quote of the day. Just writing that positive quote or a positive affirmation. Just saying something nice to yourself and writing it down in your planner um, can really, really be something that can help you and get you in the right frame of mind. So I definitely recommend doing something like this. I, this was new for me and I've had so much fun working on it um, this month. So I'm gonna keep it up and we'll, we'll look at it at the end of the month, right? Okay, another one that I love doing as well because you know, it involves photos. So anything with photos, I'm getting out the big one for this so that we can kind of take a look. Let me move some of this over, all righty. Okay, so for a big memory planner, sometimes you've got these extra pages in the front, you know, and for those kind of memory planners, we don't typically, um, you know, put your appointments in. I mean, you could, but it's just, I, it's not something I do. So what I like to do is I print photos in different sizes. And this is, again, I am doing the complete square. I'm just gonna give you an idea. Not always, sometimes I've got like a little strip. I've got squares. You don't have to do everything in a perfect square. You can use rectangle, you know, whatever. But it's just different little photos. And you could do a photo a day. You could even take a picture of, you know, let's say you wanna just, you don't wanna write down what you ate for the day, but you maybe wanna just have a photo of something fun to highlight. You could totally take a photo of, you know, of what you ate or of something you made. If you could use this as, you know, let's say you wanna show your Instagram, you could print one photo from your Instagram every day. Um, anything that you wanna highlight, you could do just using a photo. So what I do is I print my photos and I have them ready to go. I do use um, four by six matte photo paper and I leave it in my printer at all times. And what I do is I print from my camera or my phone, because if I have to go to like a camera and transfer things over from the computer, this will never happen. <laughs> like I won't do it. So it has to be something easy and simple. You could even, you know, heck you could print out um, a text, a word, whatever you want, whatever we want to put in this block, you can do. So I, this is my absolute favorite. This is the Tombow permanent adhesive. And I love this stuff so much. And this is how I attach all of my photos. So all you have to do, I usually write the date on the back. If it's something, if I've accumulated a lot of photos and you know, I'm not you know, gonna put them in at that moment, I will usually write the date on the back so I know when they happen. But this, again, I'm not worried about covering up the date. I am just going to put it right on. You'll end up, you can end up with a photo grid. If you do the same size every you know, day, it will literally just look like a grid of photos, which is super cool. But sometimes, you know, you might not, have a photo every single day. 
and that's that's okay. Um, I'm trying to find where's my. I've already lost one, but I have some pretty flowers for Valentine's Day. Well, we'll just we'll just oh there they are there they are they were hiding already. So I'm going to put some flowers and then maybe you want to highlight one. So I've got this one. I just went ahead and left it bigger. And that's the thing. There's no rule to how you have to put these on or how you need to do it. It's whatever, you know, works for you. So let's see. Oh, I just realized I put it on, not on Valentine's Day. There we go. Sorry, whoa, okay. So I'm covering up the dates. You could go back in later and use, um, you could even number them if you wanted to. Um, I've got, I'm leaving enough blanks so I can tell what day they happened on, but you could even use a little sticker number or write the date on. Um, you could even use, let's try this. This is a jelly roller. I use these also a lot. These are great. Um, they do have these at Michael's. So I could put this, I could put a number two right here on this dark part of this photo for the second. And again, it's, here's, here's a Michael's class with Heather that I did. So I'm gonna put that there. Alrighty. And this way, if you, maybe you don't memory plan, but you know, you've got a lot of photos and you'd like to use it and you've got your planner, which is kind of like, I, I still consider my planner like a mini diary because it kind of has what I'm doing every day and what's going on in my life. It's like a little snapshot. I save all of my planners. And so, you, you know, it might be fun to add a little photo of what's going on on this monthly so that you have it to look back at. And you, you, can, you can write words on it if you'd like. You can put, you know, different words or different things, but you don't have to. I mean, you know what, doesn't a picture set a, a thousand words, right? A picture's worth a thousand words, so there. Like, you can actually just have that little memory in there and you don't have to journal anything. This is, my husband's gonna love this. This is him with a bear filter on. He'll love that. Just kidding. So these are all just things that you can put in here and you can add your stickers also. Like I might add a cute Valentine love sticker there. I could add, um, you know, one of those little phone icons for us doing a little weird FaceTime with my mom and my daughter. But these are the kind of things that you might have in your camera roll that's, you know, it's just sitting there and, you know, not being used, not being seen. They're, these are typically the kind of things we don't print out, right? It was just, yeah, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna overlap these. These are the kind of things that you just kind of forget about. These are just the weird little silly everyday things. They're not portraits. They're not like, you know, anything critical, but they're, they're just a part of your story and your every day. I'll leave that one so you can see the date. That is always fun to capture that you can just easily add on your monthly. Again, whether it's squares, whether you keep it in a rectangle, whatever it may be. I'm trying to remember. I'm gonna put that there. And then when you go back and look, you've got a fun reminder of the month is in a snapshot, like one page snapshot of everything that you did. If pictures aren't your thing or you don't want to print out, you can also like journal in there. Or maybe, you know, you wanted to kind of do a combination of, um, of photos and journaling. So you could maybe, if you do keep a journal and you want to highlight a specific memory, you could just easily write it in. Um, you could use, I mean, like, one of these if you wanted to and just kind of again this one's for the classic but I think it was, still looks good in there and you can highlight that I mean you could say we baked brownies and then we can go back and add some fun stickers to it so there's just a lot that you can do with this type of layout 
and still decorate it and make it fun. So let's look at, okay, we'll, we'll stop this one and we'll do another one. But again, this is just a fun way that you can actually utilize this layout in a different way, in a different type of thinking. Okay, so let's see. Another option that you can do is, let's see, let's look at kind of like a budgeting. If you, I am not, I'm gonna full on admit a big budget planner, but I do need to know when to pay my bills every month, you know, what's going on and when paydays are and all of those sort of things. So it's important to keep track of that. And this would be a great place to have everything at a glance. And this is the Save Now sticker book. I know I, again, I got this sticker book. I'm ready. I'm ready. I've got, you know, friends that are fantastic budgeters and I'm really wanting to get on that as well. So this is my baby step into getting there is to have a monthly budget page. So I might need some motivation. So I'll probably have some motivational stickers over here on the side, like this one, this one's speaking to me, but don't give up what you want most for what you want right now, because that is definitely something I need to remember. So I can put those kind of things right there. And then these stickers are also great just to give you a snapshot at the beginning of the month, just what your balances are. And in fact, you could even use two of these because you could do a beginning balance and an ending balance at the end of the month. So you kind of can see how far you've come and what you're working on and how, if, if it's working for you. So I'm gonna put this there and I'll probably just put, you know, beginning and ending on that part. The thing is, is with these sidebars over here, you can customize them to anything you want. Perhaps you have savings goals, like weekly savings goals. You can put your weekly savings goals or anything that you have on this corner and, you know, and set that up. So, like this, let me find one. Here's a weekly habit, a habit, habit tracker. So you could use one of these. You could even put one like once a week. Let's say you want to do it every Sunday. You know, and make sure that you're tracking, you know, your savings. Did you do it every day that week, and that sort of thing. So again, there's so many options. There's also monthly tra habit trackers that you can put over there, as well. So. You can add your weekly spendings and everything in there. So let's see. So let's say first I'm going to put my paydays down. So let's say I've got it here and here. So you've got your paydays down. You can put all of your bills that you have due. Like I've got, let's say I've got my mortgage payment here is always due the first. Let me see if there's some other ones as well. And then maybe you can even use these icons for your different things. Like let's say I've got a credit card bill due here. You can easily put the amount. Your electricity bill is due on, actually it's due here too. And then you might have, I have gas. So I'm gonna put my gas bill and your internet. I mean, they've thought of everything, right? So you've got all of the different bills. Maybe you make your, you do your savings at the end of the month. I could, and you can customize these to be whatever you want, just because I'm saying it's savings. That could be your payday sticker, anything you want. And this sticker book is the save now, spend later. This is the new one that's available at Michael's. So you can go through and put those. You can also do things, track your spending. Like I had to fill up the car and put what you spent there. If you've got like a generic, like, okay, I you know spent on something, put it there, your groceries. 
let's say you go every week and you go every um, Wednesday, put that there. And then you would want to track how much did you spend on groceries and you'll easily be able to have it all at a glance and know. You could also color code these. So let's say you write groceries and you highlight it, you know, let's say in blue. Then you could have over here your total. You could total up by category because you've got these extra squares. Sometimes at the beginning of the month, sometimes at the end. But this could be like, let's say you've got your grocery spending like this. And then you could easily put, okay, my total for groceries. And you can do the same thing for other bills and other spending. Yeah, if you're gonna, if you're gonna track your planner spending, <laughs> this would be a good place to do it, right? So there's so many different options. This one has savings transfers. It, if you do that a certain day, these I really like as well. Like if you, if we've got these, these are very, you know, self-explanatory icons, but you may have a bill that's like a different type, let's say um, homeowner association or something like that. Um, you can write down what it was, what the amount is. And then once you've paid it, you can check it off. So this is also good in helping you plan. So you can get all, you can go through, find all of your bills, put them all down, um, and mark whether you've paid it. There's also options, I believe, in here for automatic payments. Like, yes, like let's say every uh, 19th, you've got a bill that comes out of your account. You can track those as well. So this really just gives you an idea. You could even track at the end of each week, let's say. It's really, it's just limitless. It's however you want to do it. Maybe every Sunday you look back and track your weekly spending. Like you could have had it, you know, written all here, what you spent every day. And then you could have, so let's say I did this, I spent, you know, this, this, and I write down the amounts. And then here I can total the whole thing up and just kind of see. And you, if you have those every week, you'll see what, you know, what you're doing and did you spend more this week and do you know why? Um, as opposed to, you know, when I'm not looking at this, you come back and you're like, whoa, what happened? <laughs> what did I spend this week? This is, keeps it very concise and easy and one place where you can find everything related um, to your bills, to your finances and all of your savings. This kind of tracking gives you accountability and keeps you focused for your month and planning for the month ahead. So these books, again, are great. There's also um, memory planners available as well. I think I've got the mini memory planner, but uh, I'm sorry, mini budget planner. But again, this is something you can do in any planner that you have. So keep that in mind. Um, I saw someone say something about colorful boxes. I know, um, Sometimes there are colorful boxes books where it's just colorful boxes, but be sure to check out all your books. I actually went through all of mine and I'm already seeing some I'm going to need to grab in here and pulled out these, all of these boxes and just bound them together so that I have boxes available whenever I need them. Boxes like this that have the paid um, or very specific spending, I do leave those in here because these, you know, are very specific to budgeting. But the kind that are just, you know, cute, plain boxes, I tear those out and have them handy so that I can use them on things like my monthly or my weekly spreads. Um, you'll find those boxes in so many books. Once you start looking for them, you'll find them and realize how many actually have those types of boxes. So I'm gonna see, like, I even like to use these little ones as well. And these are appointments. So sometimes I pull all my appointments and keep all my appointment ones together. It just helps keep you um, planning faster instead of going, oh, I know there was a purple appointment books uh, sticker somewhere. I just don't remember which sticker book it was in. This helps me find them because I've got all my appointment books in one spot. So that keeps it handy. All right. So we've got budgeting down. Let's take a look at another option. 
Let's let me grab another. Like, like I said, we could we could keep going for a long time. There's so so many options of different um, you know things you can do with this monthly. I'm sure you guys have some amazing ideas as well. All right, so let's take a look. Okay, you could also do it as I'm gonna grab. Maybe I'll grab this. Uh, I think there's a chores sticker book that's out now. I might have the older version that says household, but you could keep track of things that you need to do around the house and chores. Um, you could even use like a daily, this is a daily checklist and you could keep it in the corner here. But what I would like to do, this might be something that I put in the side column because this is something that I need to do weekly. So let's say weekly, I need to be sure that I am doing these things. And you may have very customized ones. So you could just get some of those boxes like we were talking about and write some of your things that you like to do. Like, let's say you've got a chore list. I'm gonna just put this here and you can put those out. You might have to, like maybe I've got one for um, each of my kiddos. <laughs> They're gonna love this. All right, so now I've got one for each of them and I can actually put what each one is responsible for or if it's for me, whatever I need to work on, I can have that over here. It's just good to keep a schedule of the things that you need to do. Ooh, look, see, this even has some great bill pay ones. So this is something that you can, that you can do as well. Okay, so it may be a situation where twice a month you do some deep cleaning on Sunday. Actually, I did that yesterday. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on this Saturday and you can write what it was that you cleaned and then maybe we're gonna do another deep clean towards the end of the month. Is that every two? No, it would be here. There we go. Okay, so, and then you can put down like, okay, maybe we're gonna deep clean um, kitchens and bathrooms. And then this could be, again, you could do the same thing, or you could do a family room. I'm just gonna, plus bedrooms. Okay, and then you can just really kind of have your cleaning schedule down. Like we, for example, do most of our laundry on Saturdays. So you can put those. There's also tons of icons. We have a thing where we do our recycling is every other Tuesday. So I might have it every Tuesday is trash, but I might alternate, okay, Tuesday, is I'm gonna grab, okay, this is my paper piercer. I know this comes up a lot. This is, it's it's either a paper piercer is what they're called sometimes, or a, um, it's like a clay tool that you use to when you're doing like the FEMA clay or any of those. So it's, I found, have found this now in the clay aisle. I love to use it to place stickers because sometimes I can't see when I've got my fingers all in the way exactly where I want the sticker to go. So I use this as I'm dropping it. I use this to kind of pick up my stickers and then just kind of place them. It just helps me. So I am using that. So this just gives me, you know, okay, remember this is just regular trash. This is a recycle and just kind of gives me that. Oh yes, and all, thank you. So we've got that. This could be a, this is not my taking a shower, but it could be that you clean the shower certain days of the week. So again, it's really, you can personalize it to however you want. I think a lot of times, that sometimes we see, um, you know, different planning guides and, and, you know, cleaning methods. And it's like, well, I don't do it that way. And that's not, doesn't really work for me the way they've got that. But, you know, it could be this way. You can really create your own. And instead of putting it, you may not want to have it every single day in your um, regular planner. It can be in that monthly section so that you have kind of a, 
at a glance, you might say, oh my gosh, I did, you know, I did the, I vacuumed and I, whatever, you know, two days ago, it's been too much time. I've got to do that again. And you'll, it'll just kind of give you, it's so easy to have this visual reminder. Um, and also if you're one of those people that do the zones, it's also a great way to keep track of it and visually have that all in one place. So again, this is something that you can do. You can also use it as a how I mean, a general household um, monthly. So it could be things like, you know, all of these different cleaning and chores, and you could combine it with your, you know, monthly bills and paydays as well. If you're not going to be tracking, you know, actual spending and you just need that reminder, this can be a household planner that you just kind of have. It could be your daily that you, or your, the one, your catch-all that stays at home. That way, if anybody wants to know what they're responsible for or what they need to do, or maybe some tasks that that they're in charge of, anybody in the family can know where to go to find that information and have everything handy. So that again, and I used the, I think now it's called, there's household and chores. I want to say it's chores. And this again is all the plans. This one kind of covers everything. It's, it's great for that, um, that monthly where you've got special days, reminders, all of the things, because this kind of incorporates everything. So you've got your cleanup, you've got home chores, paydays, um, just different appointments, things you need to do, shopping. This one is a fantastic, just general um, one, all the plans that you can use in your planner, as well as on your monthly. It's got the focused, it's got your you know, different practices for the week, vacations. Oh, I can't wait to do those again. Um, just so, so many different options, work schedules, planning, pets, some self-care, nail salon. So this one, I love it because it's a, it's perfect for using in your monthly planner to just kind of highlight those important focus items. Again, I'll, here, let me switch back. Let me switch to, let me turn this one off and we'll go back to me. I'm gonna put the spotlight here, I think. You guys see me? Hopefully so. Okay. Um, so there, again, there are so many different things that you can do with that monthly. You could track gardening. You could do something as fun as outfit of the day. If that's something that you enjoy doing um, and keeping track of. Just anything that, that you can think of, you can probably put in that monthly. So you don't have to think of it as only an overview of your week, or I'm sorry, of your month. I have, I do have that and I, I mean, I need that monthly um, visual, but I use more than one planner. And so I've got a lot of different options and openings and things that you can do for it. Um, whether it's food, again, positivity, um, you can even schedule. It's great for scheduling. Like if you've got multiple people to keep track of, use those highlighters and give everybody a color, highlight what they're doing and where they're at. So we know where everybody's at throughout the month. There's just so many options that you can do. So if you guys have any questions, I would love to hear. And if you missed anything, or you want to rewatch any part of it, be sure to check out on the Michaels YouTube channel. These will be available as well as um, once you go back to their website, it's recorded and will be there as well. All righty. So do we have any questions? Like I can't hear. It's there. Oh, sticker of the day is an actual great idea. Like, I mean, it can be something just fun. Anything that brings you joy. Oh, somebody asked about printer. I, I use a Canon printer. I know a lot of people use like a Canon selfie. I just use a, I mean, I probably have like a $50 printer that I leave paper in all the time. Again, it's all about keeping it simple and easy. Um, if you message me, 
um, I'm mom and a girl with plans and you can message me. I can tell you which one I use, but really I feel like it's all about paper. I use matte four by six Canon paper. It is loaded at all times. And then I use that to print out my pictures. I usually print them in a grid and I use pic collage. Anytime I'm printing photos, as long as I, um, I usually use a four square. So I've got the four pictures and those fit perfectly in the large. If you're using it as um, like in a classic, I will usually put them in, I wanna say, is it eight? One, two, and I always make sure there's a line down the middle. That always makes sure that they're the same size and they'll fit perfectly within those little squares in my planner. So um, I just use four by six ratio and then always have a line going down the middle. I'm trying to see some of the questions are popping up fast. I'm trying to keep up. Okay, um, I do, um, I believe if you message me, if you have more questions about, you know, any of the photo printing or any of that sort of thing, um, you could even use a punch. I know Michael's has, punches in different sizes that are perfect squares. So you could use those as well to, um, you know, if you print out a picture, just punch it, make it really fast to kind of keep going. And you could do fun shapes. It doesn't have to be a square. You could use one of those big circle punches and have a bunch of cute circles. That would be really fun. Okay, I wanna try that one now. But um, there's just so many different things that you can do. And I can't wait to see what you guys create as well. Um, Oh, this is a, this is an old, old shelf. I don't even, this isn't even, it's not from Ikea. And this amazing cart is the Hudson cart. It's my favorite thing. This is available at Michael's. It's got all of my stickers and that's easy because it's on wheels so I can roll it around fast. So that's my favorite. Um, my favorite little storage item. Also over here, we've got the clear washi containers that are available at Michael's. You can pull them out flip through your washi and just see what you've got. Um, okay, your classic hat. Okay, so if you've got planners that have different size boxes, I would just like, you know, measure them, figure out what you need, and then just be sure to use, use the either punch or just cut them down. Um, I like to print, print photos and that sort of thing while I'm just watching TV because I know it's gonna print in the other room right from my phone. So, so, so many options. Um, but again, don't forget, this will be available online. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. And stay tuned because Heather's class will be up in probably, what, an hour? So you'll want to check that one out too. So thank you guys so much. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye. Thanks.